Season 8, episode 15, A Matter of Principals. Alright, hold on. So many questions about this episode. <sighs> so, we, we, we open in the auditorium. Uh, Twilight prepares the students for a scavenger hunt of some artifacts that Celestia lent to the school. Ocelos recognizes them immediately, being the nerd! Yeah, apparently they use priceless artifacts for a scavenger hunt. Yeah! Yeah, do you, do you think that would be in a museum? Because that makes so much sense. Yeah, just totally. It's like, oh yes, this is hundreds of years old and very priceless. Oh, hey, let's do it for a scavenger hunt. <laughs> right? <laughs> Now I've just got Indiana Jones in my head. It's it belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see Darius thought... sweep in, take them, and run off. They belong in a museum. <laughs> daring do. <laughs> uh, or Indiana what are you Jones daring doing? From that one thing <laughs> from that one episode. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, Turns out that all the main six are called away to a friendship mission. Oh yeah, friendship! Totally. Thankfully, Twilight has a 70-point plan to deal with this. That's apparently useful for six months. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it mostly <laughs> is dump it on Glim Glam with Spike as assistant. She did leave mm -hmm. her curriculum and notes for that six months, so... Credit, credit where it's due. The guy's already a princess for her. I'll pretend I'll know what that means. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of, uh, yeah, there was a lot of callbacks to Princess Spike. It's like, yeah, we a lot of callbacks in these two episodes, I think. I seem to remember. No, it wasn't the much in that one, but it was in the matter of principles. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, so, as as he is wont to do, as soon as the six leave, conveniently, Discord shows up. Ready to help. Of course. Help being uh, very much defined dead. by Discord. <laughs> his, his definition of help. Yeah, um... Though... That reminds me of two. That's the point. Discord is basically Q turned into a pony. Go oh. ball a draconicus. Mm. stands up to him after he makes gravity optional, which really shouldn't be a problem if it's optional, if one can select to whether to be in gravity or not. Because I can see that, you know, floating to all my classes. Yes, if, if gravity I don't know if is... there anyways, because they have wings. Some of them, but Sandbar doesn't. Sandbar's like the only one. <laughs> Yona, Yona doesn't have wings either. Wouldn't you like to see a, a yak in zero gravity? <laughs> that is that. Yak that would be in fun space. <laughs> yak not, in space. Yona not no like being not nice. able to, to slam. <laughs> <laughs> Yona slams, Yona hit ceiling. <laughs> Yona smash ceiling! Wreck <laughs> it, Ralph. Yeah, but just, just imagine, she figures out how to work it and, you know, realizes she can just move up the wall a little bit, push off with a, with a slam, and just go rocketing down the, the hallway. <laughs> just, just, you just look out the outside of a, a classroom door, and you just see this this just, just uh, yeah. massive massive hair just flying down the corridor. Pew 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 pew. That's why. This perfect. <laughs> Anti gravity perfect. <laughs> yeah, anti gravity. For you yes. <laughs> but yaks are bested. And, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, let's see, so 
Yeah, if it had been just been optional and they could just will themselves to not, you know, to not to be out of the zero gravity and just walk, then it wouldn't be a problem because everybody could just choose. There would be a yeah, lot of choosing I, to go to go no gravity, but. But I think gravity optional in this definition is kind of like the whole concept of clothing optional usually means nudity. Yes, but so it's I not mean, really. I mean, you have an option too, but generally speaking, it just means there isn't one. Yeah, maybe uh, at least a few that like naked underneath these clothes. There would be at least a few that would go. Mm, no, I don't really need that. I, I like being able to walk on the ground uh, and not go to the moon. Oh, hi, Luna. <laughs> yeah, but your your pony is a Pegasus. True. So you fly anyways. <laughs> yes, I would just like the power to come back to Earth. If anything, I should say that because my pony is a unicorn. <laughs> anyway, so at this point, you know, Discord shoes or no, he, he kind of disappears or goes off in some way. Because Spike at this point is taking care of the administrative task and all Glimmer has to do is teach. Spike being competent and useful. Though mm -hmm. at, at this point, Discord has just made the hair and bed mare's office a little more to his liking. Yeah, <laughs> I can see it. A a interesting bit is that we also see Twitter mites again after Bloom and Gloom. I don't think we've seen them in any other episode. Well, it's been a while. Perhaps they're real and not just a figment of Apple Bloom's imagination, or Discord is being Discord and pulling stuff out of nightmares. Though Spike did pull out a spray can of insecticide, but it might just be general pest control and not specific yeah. Twitter mites. So oh, it's Jerry Can when Discord's around. That's just the pony equivalent of Raid. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, it's just like a general, the general insecticide. It's like trying to hit the Twitter mites with that, which makes me wonder, you know. Because it's, because it's, it's Discord, you don't know whether they're actually real, and Apple Bloom just Apple mind didn't make them up, and you know knew something of them already, or they were all made made up, and Discord's just being Discord and pulling stuff out of dreams because you know breaking the fourth wall and pulling stuff out of dreams. Anyway, yeah, you can you can just hear Apple Bloom like in the distance. I hear Twitter mites. My time has come. Those things again? I thought they were only a nightmare. <laughs> the nightmare has become reality. No! I know what I must do. <laughs> I must God, go back to bed and have somebody else deal with it. <laughs> anyway. So at, at this point, <clears throat> Discord has somehow hired, so knowing that, knowing ahead of time that uh, Twilight and uh, the others would be gone because of something yeah, later, they, 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 they probably prepared them. And that's probably why he wanted to do it was to make sure the people, the the ponies and whatnot that have uh, that he's chosen to be his uh, substitutes were available, so he could have his plan work perfectly. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, why didn't he have the smooth teach? That would have been fun. Yeah. Instead of hiring a t instead of hiring a tree. But that's clearly that's it. clearly the substitute for Fluttershy. No, it's clearly the substitute for Applejack. I mean, no, Fluttershy always Apple wanted to be a tree, so that's true. Substitute for a tree. You have a tree substitute for another tree. No, no, no. <laughs> Applejack it was an apple tree. There you go. <laughs> They're both backgrounds. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. 
Uh, I'm not going to even dignify that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he's hired Iron Will. His Iron Will, a friend, friend out of you. He would have scared the other students. Be, we're not as friends. <laughs> <laughs> you will be my friend, Tony. I mean, that's how I make my friends. It never Me works, too. but that's how I do it. That's why you don't have any friends. <laughs> Two, we get a cranky who's using a class field trip excuse to have the students wait on him hand and hoof. I mean, hey, when servants are around, use them. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the, the aforementioned dragon sneeze tree, which Smolder and Spike are affected. Spike less so, but I think he might have been on guard against it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, their their schedule was open. I mean, the schedule was open, so... Yeah. And yet another callback to Princess Spike. Mm-hmm. Uh. Plus, uh. why Spike, like, uh-uh, nope, I'm not doing it. I remember last time I took over for Princess the last for Princess Twilight. Oh, no, I'm going to pretend that makes sense. <laughs> so, uh, you know, spikes. Uh, so, Starlight stands up to, to Discord again and gets him to leave for the moment. Spike says, "I I wouldn't count on it. I think Discord's trying to test you." Which Glam says, "But why? I thought we were friends." Well, it's kind of what he does, even to ponies or dragons he cares about. So, uh, at this point, Starlight brings in Spitfire, Maud, and Trixie to sub. Maud and Trixie, obvious choices. Pony she knows. Uh, Spitfire didn't realize she knew her. Well, I mean, she's head of the Wonder Bolt, so yeah. it's like smart choice, but Trixie, I mean... She's she kind of fooled herself to be a teacher. Trixie can't do something like teach. She <laughs> kind of fooled herself. <laughs> yeah, but she had to bring her best friend in there. True. Well, yeah, she needed someone she knew she could trust to at least, you know, try to do that, you know. They weren't going to go off the rails like Discord subs did. Trixie is going to be full of herself and revert the whole class to a magic show, but... Yeah. <clears throat> At least, you know, she's not making them wait on her hand, hand and hoof. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, at this point, Discord, you know, memes his way into class, like, hello, fellow kids, uh, with his call on his banana phone. <laughs> yeah, the outfit looks familiar, and then I think I realized what it was from. I forget the name of the show or movie, but I remember, like, the actor's name, I think it's, like, uh, Steve Buscemi. Yeah, Buscemi, yeah, he's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. That's the whole. It's a. It's a meme. It's, yeah, I was. I was trying to. Oh, why, did that, why that outfit look familiar? Yep. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, figured it's a stereotypic uh, teenage dork. Yeah, it, it's a reference. Anyway, so uh, she wants <sighs> to do it. <laughs> I get the banana film reference. Yeah, oh yeah, that was... Hello? You know, which is interesting because that's definitely something, you know, those two things are definitely something that we're not, you know, the kids will laugh about, but the kids won't get banana phone. Mm -hmm. ba -ba banana phone. Ring, 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 phone. ring, 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 banana phone. Every kid, at least once in their life, has used a banana as a phone. Yeah, so and it's funny uh, regardless, but the reference makes it extra funny. Yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, she wants to do her magic act, and uh, Discord amps it up a bit with a, a flying pig. Mm. Derpy. Oh. Uh, oddly calm about this whole thing. Uh, she always is. Well, I mean, for, for a pony, for just any pony. She's being well, she's calm. probably if mentally were, screaming, suddenly, thinking, what the hell's going on? Yeah, if, if you were if you were suddenly pulled out of a, a hat, out of nowhere... <laughs> You'd, you'd, you'd be a little more my, perturbed. My question is, was this just a portal and she just was grabbed by the head and pulled through a portal so just her head was coming up through the little portal? Or was she like sh like teleported into the hat or what? Uh, it, was more, it was more than just her head. It was like mid-torso at least in the hat. So I think it was... I think it was more portal because there was no way she was she fit in that bag. Though it might have been a bag. Might, Discord might have made it into a bag of hold into that hat because Discord might have made it into a, a hat of holding, and it's just infinitely deep. And he just teleported her into it and then teleported her back out. Now uh, you know. Just imagine a giant hoof coming out of the sky and grabbing you. Yeah. Right. And finally, and. Ursa Major, replacing what she would have liked to have pulled out of her hat. And of course, the Ursa scares off the students. And I really want to see a mutated bunny. <laughs> okay. He's done I it mean, before, I suppose, but... Yeah. I mean, of course she was trying to pull a bunny out of a hat, so, you know, mutated bunny. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it... I think he hit on... Other than the flying pig, like the three things, you basically get to pick three things for her, for uh, her to pull out of a hat, and the flying pig is about the only one I would even consider replacing. But I don't think a bunny, the bu the mutated bunny, works quite as well. It's not quite as funny. It's a little too close. It needs to be kind of out there, and so flying pig, a little out there, derpy, you know, pandering. And then, uh, and then, uh, Ursa, because... Trixie's first episode. Yeah, Trixie's first yeah, episode. Yeah, memories. Her, yeah, great. Her probable, uh... Her, 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 her probably mental scars from, from summoning an Ursa, getting an Ursa in there. Yeah. Well, right? you no, it, was, it was, it was snips and snails, but her being the root cause of why there was an Ursa. <laughs> well, I mean, you've said that you, that you you said before you were able to banish an Ursa. Let's see you do it again. I didn't banish it in the first place. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, so after Spitfire gave them a fairly thorough workout, which doing what she does for a living is prob was probably pretty thorough. It's basically oh, yeah. like, like uh, going and getting, you know, somebody in the military, you're going and getting somebody in the military to go run, you know, PE. It's, they might have a slightly, a slightly different uh, scale on which they measure PE. Uh, oh, yeah. Discord decides that he's frustrated and decides they haven't had enough and chases them with the Bugbear, another reference to uh, slice, and a reference to slice of life in this case, because again, their panda ring. Ah, uh, ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh. Anyway, so uh, Glimmer has had enough after Yuna is nearly hurt by the bugbear, and then. Banishes Discord's body from the school grounds forever. Oh, yeah, she uh, completely slaughters him. With a giant yeah. cone in front of the kids. Power. And apparently, the spirit of chaos isn't a spirit. Yeah. She, she literally killed him, basically. <laughs> yeah. The spirit of chaos has a no, ghost. She, she sent him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, so yeah, let's no longer call Discord the Spirit of Chaos because yeah, he, he has a 
Apparently, he can have a ghost. Okay. And oh. knowing Discord, he could have ghost of a ghost. And ghosts Discord exist in, in Equestria. So I ain't afraid of no ghost. So we get this little exchange. So Spike, hey, 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 take it easy, Starlight. Discord's your friend, remember? Glimmer, well, she, well, he's not acting like it. Spike, she's right, Discord. What's your problem? Discord, my problem. How is the fact that Twilight decided to put an incompetent, power-hungry unicorn in charge of her school my problem? You should talk about power-hungry, Discord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pot kettle. Pot kettle. <laughs> yeah. No, hey, hey, hey. Discord isn't power-hungry. He has enough power. He just likes to use it a little too much sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't mean he's hungry for more. He just enjoys displaying said power. Anyway, so he, the, she zaps him. And don't worry, I just banished him from the school grounds forever. He's fine. Yeah. yeah. So I, I did to him what Twilight and her friends did to uh, Sombra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I him up real good. Anyway, so, Spike. Yeah, you know, you know, that probably made things worse. Why didn't you just talk to Discord? Because he's right about one thing. I've been doing a terrible job as head mayor. Spike, no you haven't. Discord is just being Discord. Starlight, maybe, but I wonder why me being in charge bothers him so much. Anyway. So, they, uh, they go to start the Spellvenger hunt. And it's based on knowing the history of the items. <clears throat> or knowing where Spike hit it. Yes. <laughs> it's supposed yeah. to be, but... Mm, uh, Oscillus and Smolder find the Yak Helm, but the suit of armor comes to life and attacks. Of course getting, we, we, get little, we get little bites of lore as we go. These two are, are fairly lore-heavy, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see... And we apparently realized Twilight has an observatory that can see any part of the school. Mm-hmm. Moving swiftly on. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, uh, I skipped that before. Uh, Gallus and Silverstream hit the library where Gallus saw the crown of Grover, the Griffin, being hidden behind a portrait. They tag it. But then the portraits attack. Discord has re-entered the school as a ghost and is mucking about. Sandbar and Yuna go after the shell of Knuckerbocker. If you blow into it, you call a dragon. They try to climb stairs, but Discord turned them to mud. This is about the most petty we've seen him in a while. Um yeah. The, most the last him. time we saw him this petty, he was pissed off because his girlfriend got a new friend. <laughs> hey, Discord threesome. Yep. Which is an interesting the 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 shell of Knuckerbocker is an interesting thing in that it's a shell to call a dragon. Would it just be really annoying for Smolder and Spike if you played it? Like, yeah. What do you want? I mean, they're they're not like it's not like dragons in this universe are just beasts. They're 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 sentient creatures. They're, they're sapient. They 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 have they can speak. They understand things. Their culture is very different, but you can talk to them. <laughs> and, no, you can just you just imagine somebody blowing it, and then both their phones start ringing. It's like what? <laughs> you didn't know dragons no, had phones? <laughs> no, they oh, both pull out a banana. What, you didn't know yeah. dragons had phones? <laughs> but yeah, just how that works, would that be just a, would that just annoy Spike and Smolder until they came near it? Or what would it would Maybe it's like a dog whistle. Which works the same way, it just sort of annoys them and Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's frequency that Just dragons like can hear. 
Um, anyway. They blow in. It's, I don't think this works. I don't hear anything. Smolder's like, like Will you cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we get this exchange. Uh, Discord's ghost. Well, that's disappointing. Glimmer, Discord, you can't keep messing up the school. Discord's ghost. On the contrary, I think I rather can and will. Then I have just one thing to say to you. Oh, do go on. I'm sorry. What? I had to stop thinking like a headman and start thinking like a guidance counselor to finally understand. You felt left out. Discord, uh, stuttering, I don't know what you're getting at. Starlight Glimmer. Nobody ever invited you to the school. And when you offered to help, I didn't listen. I was so worried about doing things Twilight's way, I didn't stop to think about being a good friend. I'd like to apologize for that and offer you the job of Vice Headmare. Spike, huh? Silverstream and then Gallus and so those are all... You know, and you and everybody's... Going, what? And, uh, Discord, I accept. I mean, I suppose I can find some time in my busy schedule to help you out, but I'll need my own office, expense account, parking space. Spike, you're new to the world of education, aren't you? <laughs> Next time you want something, just ask for it, all right? But then we'd miss out on all those delightful misadventures. That's probably one of the most Q statements Discord has ever made. Oh, dear God. <laughs> but then I would miss out on all your lovely speeches, Picard. <laughs> uh, then we find out the whole time Discord had faked the subbins and the whole situation was set up by him because he felt left out. It's like, Discord, you made our butts vibrate for nothing. Well, he didn't actually vibrate so much because you noticed Twilight didn't notice it until after after the kids pointed it out. It doesn't like vibrate or tingle like usual. This one just glowed. Which, you know, yeah, that should have been a pretty quick um red flag quick, quick. but you know although if he did make your butt vibrate are you really complaining <laughs> but hey they probably went on a nice fake friendship adventure and learned more about each other more than they ever cared to Yes. And saw some eyeless worms, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yes. Just, uh... A redundant statement. <laughs> Why? I think worms are already eyeless. Well, I mean... Most normal worms are. But, anyway... Or something like that. I don't know. It, it, I don't remember exactly. But yes, this was this was very much Discord being Discord. You know. Yeah, I love being, the Discord episodes. Yes, this was this was this was Discord being very sort of petty. And Cranky Discord. <laughs> fairly petty and. A little bit, uh, a little bit more like, uh, a little more Q-like in some regards. Lots of references as well. Uh, huh? Um, any other things to say about this episode? It kind of was reminiscent of a cross between Three's a Crowd and, um, Make New Friends. Yeah, I suppose. But at least he didn't banish anybody to the human realm. Or mm -hmm. almost. Well, well, the sock <laughs> puppet realm. <laughs> sock puppet realm. <laughs> oh, well, apparently... Um, well, the shadow realm. <laughs> uh, apparently, Starlight is powerful enough to uh, banish Discord's physical body. Yep. That is scary power. Yeah, that is. Although, I think part of it was Discord, one, wasn't expecting it, and two, 
he, he didn't really mind much. I mean, he minded, but he's just like, I can have fun other ways. Yeah. Oh, my God. Only My Little Pony can you completely kill a character. And then bring him back. Yeah. So, wait, wait would that make Starlight a uh, necromancer? Or a necroprancer? No, because he didn't actually die. Yeah. He chose to... He, she, she shifted his entire being off school grounds. He came back with the ghost of Discord. Can you imagine if, um, by mistake, one of the students was behind Discord when she did that? He uh, just wouldn't be able to enter school grounds. He'd be teleported It's like, off uh... Of it's like Twilight, um... I kind of banished one of your students. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Well, well, to be fair, though, she did know how to reverse it, so... True. Yeah! Her, her area denial spell, she knew the, the spell and the counter to it, so... Yeah. Not a big deal. <laughs> 